going on guys on this episode of what I've been thinking it's basically a part two of my first video but I'm gonna call this one why and how me and my wife decided to get out of debt and really tackle it and take it serious and like I mentioned in the first video if you haven't seen that hit the little card up above and I'm gonna put the video and that was you know basically telling my story of how we went from zero debt to being in a whole bunch of you know credit card debt and car loan debt and that type of stuff like that but in this video I'm gonna show you the switch and mentality we had about debt and wanted to tackle our current debt and do something about it so you know this one never happened again to us okay so like I said in the last video, we had basically moved back to Florida after her military four years was over and, you know, we had to basically start all over. You know, she had to find a job, I had to find a job, and we had to find a place to stay. We found a place to stay and now we had to pay for this place, you know, on the monthly, you know, and all the, the utilities and everything like that that goes along with it. So now we carry all this debt with us. And it's, it's so funny how like when you have a credit card or you open up a credit card, you tell yourself, you know, you basically lie to yourself and be like, okay, I'm gonna get this one thing. And then when I get paid next week, I'm gonna just pay it all off. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. But what usually happens is you buy that one thing and then you end up needing something else. So you use that card and then you'll see, oh, I only got a hundred bucks cash left. So I'm going to use my card and go get this next thing. And things just start piling up, piling up. Next thing you know, your card is almost to the limit or it's, you know, maxed out. And then now you're just making the minimum, making the minimum and getting hit by that, uh, those high interest charges as well. So... And also your debt to income ratio numbers just go crazy, you know, so when you go to try to get a car, get a house, you know, all that stuff's going to mess you up. So we had all this stuff that we did in Virginia. It followed us down to Florida. And now since we had different jobs, we wasn't making that much and we had a new apartment, you know, our extra money you know, after the bills were paid was even lower because we got these cars, we got these credit cards and all that. So our extra money was really low. So now it's like, okay, what are we gonna do? So it's kind of like in our mind, we're like, well, screw it. You know, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just pay the minimums and then how many ever years it takes. And you know, it's just gonna take that long, you know, cause we didn't want to give up our lifestyle of, you know, being able to buy things here and there and be able to go out of town here and there, we didn't want to give that up. So it was like, we'll just keep paying the minimum. So we're not going to put no extra towards it. So what ended up happening was my wife's job after about a year or two in Orlando, she got transferred to another city in Florida, you know, so we had to move again. And now this time our apartment in that new city was even higher than the one we had. And I didn't have a job. She had the job. I had to leave my job. So I didn't have a job at all. So now we're looking like, oh my God, we barely got this apartment. My income's gone and we still got all this debt to pay off. So what ended up happening was I had to, it got so bad, I had to call our banks and was like, hey, what can we do about our car loans? And you know, we can't pay. And this was so embarrassing to me, like on the phone begging these people to help us out. Like, hey, we can't pay our credit card payment this month because our credit card payment was so high. It was like $300, no, it was about 250 for mine and 250 for hers. And those are just on one, that bank's cards. We still have other cards too with, uh, you know, payments on those as well, but those were the most expensive ones. So I, I just felt so bad, like, this feels so wrong just to be back. I never had to do this before in my life, call a bank, you know, and the bank was the same bank that had our car loans and our credit card, the big credit cards. So it's the same bank. So I'm on the phone like, hey, I know our payment is coming up for the cars and for the credit cards. What can we do? And they were giving all these different options and stuff like this. And just, you know, I was just felt so embarrassed, you know, like how did I let it get this bad? And I, there's no big lump sum of money around where I can just go and say, here, just pay it all off. Just be done with it. No, I had to crawl my way to pay it off and it was gonna take years to pay all this stuff off and I was just so mad at myself you know for getting into this mess and I always had in my mind like wow when I was 18 19 20 years old I had no debt you know 
And then when I did get my first credit card and used it and it was maxed out, I even paid that off and went back to having no debt. And then two years later, I got all this debt. So I felt so bad. And then what really hit home for me and my wife to make us want to do something about it. So this is the part of the video where we started to see like, okay, we need to do something about it. We can't just pay the minimums. This was the switch. We got tired of living in so many apartments because we lived in so many apartments, you know, and I lived in many before I even met my wife, you know, so I was just tired of the apartment thing. So on the weekend, since we weren't spending that much money anymore, we were trying to cut back, you know, it was like, what free things can we do around the, t around the city? So what we started doing, we started going to new neighborhoods, you know, and open houses and looking at homes because we wanted a house one day. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, man, I don't even have a job. She's the only one working. You know, how are you going to get a house? But I tried to stay positive. I'm like, let me go look anyway. So at least I'll have the information. When that time comes, I'll know what to do. I'll know what the process is. And I'll know what type of house we like and stuff like that. So we would go do that on the weekends. And, you know, sometimes, you know, the people in there, they'll be like, oh, why don't you apply? You might, you never know, blah, blah, blah. So we apply like three times total, not back to back, but like apply one time and then apply again in like eight months and then apply again another eight months after that. And all the times we would get denied and it was, it would say the same thing. It would say the, in, the debt, the income ratio. And it would, they'll say like, if you paid off this and if you paid off that, and if you brought this down a little bit and was, you're thinking like, that sounds easy, but <laughs> it sounds, you making it sound like it's so easy. Like we can't just go, okay, we'll go do that. Let's just go take X amount of thousands and pay this off. And then we'll go pay off the car tomorrow and then we'll come back and see if we can get approved. No, we knew that it was gonna take some time. Nobody was gonna give us money to help us out to pay off that stuff. So I'm like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? So that would make me mad then. That's what made us start listening to people like Dave Ramsey and a couple other people on YouTube. You know, I started listening to these people and they were, you know, telling about the dangers of debt and I'm shaking my head like, yep, that's what happened to us. I'm like, that's what happened to us, what they're saying. And then my wife's listening and we're like, we're going to buckle down. We're going to attack this. But we're thinking like, that sounds good. We're going to attack that. Now we're, now our brain switched over to like, okay, we're not going to, we're going to have delayed gratification. We're not going to go out here. We don't have the cash flow. We're not buying it. You know, we were in the mindset to be better, you know, with buying things and not using credit cards and all that. We had them cut them up, put them up, did all of that. Wasn't using them. I wasn't switching cars, you know, getting new cars all the time. I was like, nope, paying these off and I'm going to wait till down the road when we got more money. Then I'll worry about getting another car and all that stuff. Anything we want, vacation, whatever, we got to save up for it the right way you know, and pay cash, but we wasn't even thinking about doing that. We were just thinking about getting rid of this debt. So now we're thinking, okay, just because we're all pumped up, we're all hyped to get rid of the debt. You know, I had to go get a job and I was looking for a job and one finally came. And when that one came, I'm like, okay, you know, it wasn't making as much as my previous job, but I'm like, okay, here's more money we can put towards debt. And then something happened, guys. When our mindset switched to tackle the debt, and I guess God knew like our mindset switched to, you know, not mess up again with the money. You know, we got blessed with, uh, my wife had got money from like the military or something like that for her health or whatever. And, and it was a good little bit of change. And now I, I was thinking to myself when it came in the mail, I'm like, now, if we got this money back in the day in Virginia, we would have went out of town. We would have got all this crazy stuff. You know, we would have just been, you know, blowing it. But our mind would have done change months before that to do the right thing with it. Man, we took that money. We paid off like four credit cards all at one time. Got them out of our life. Like here, you know, go on that website, pay that one off. Go on that website, pay that one off. Paid off like four big ones at one time. And then we, uh, whatever was left, you know, we started a nice little savings, like an emergency fund. You know, I think we started an emergency fund with like $2,000 or $3,000, something like that. Just put it aside just for emergencies. And we're like, we're not touching it for nothing but emergencies. 
so that felt so good and then now that we have more money you know because those payments we were paying on those cards that we paid off now that's back into our pocket monthly so what we did we listen to Dave Ramsey it was like we're gonna do the snowball effect for the rest of the things so we take, took that next bill the next smallest you know credit card and we started you know throwing everything at that one and then that's pretty much the path we're on now we're still not out of the woods yet but we're much better you know we're about 75 percent better you know than where we was in 2015 because that's when it was really bad so first has to change is the mindset don't beat yourself up too much yeah you made the mess now you gotta clean it up work a second job you know whatever money you get from taxes income tax time and christmas and all that put it towards your bills put it towards your smallest credit card do the snowball effect you can look up the snowball effect and i know they got videos out there that break it down step by step how to do it because you don't need no debt consolidation and all that you can do it yourself you know and you just got to be disciplined so we're currently in the process so you didn't hear me in this video say yeah we're out of debt and be like us no we're still doing it like we're still in it we still got two cars to go and two credit cards now we had six credit cards now we down to two and just the two cars so we almost there and in the background i'm working on my uh, student loans my wife doesn't have any student loans it's just me and mine is only i think like thirty thousand or something like that so i'm working on that in the background as well i'm just saying this guys the moral of the story is i'm trying to help y'all not go through the same thing we went through stop buying all this stuff if you think about it it's like uh i really don't need that you don't need it and and then if you do really really want it save up for it pay cash for it don't go in there because they'll they're quick to sign you up for their store credit card and you can walk out with that item that same day or you, you can go on websites and book your trip and use your card right now no it's not worth it because i'm telling you you look back on it and something happens and you need that money and now you're taking more money out of your pocket to pay these minimums every month and you're getting hit with all that interest you're gonna think about like why did i get myself into this mess how did i let it get so the amount get so much that i owe these people and it's you know cert certain things change in your life where it's like you need the money for other things now you can't even put extra on those cards you can't even pay them off because this happened you know you had a kid or you lost a job you know you do not want to get in the trap of the consumer debt you know i'm telling you i am telling you i am living proof to tell you you do not want to get in the trap of the consumer debt just learn from us guys we're still we're still knocking it down you know and what ended up happening that we knocked down those uh three or four credit cards it opened us up to finally be able to get approved for a house now it ain't the house we wanted but we still was able to get a house and if we didn't take care of those debts if we would have just blew that money we would still be in an apartment right now so and i just i still think about like wow if we didn't have none of these credit cards we could have got an even better house you know so it's like you got to think about this stuff you got to think in the future it's like is this stuff really worth having now to put me in a big hole so until the next video guys make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because i got plenty more stuff on my mind and i'll be thinking about a lot Stay tuned.